Hey everyone, it's Amanda with My Life My Way. It is Friday morning and I am 12 DPO today. And we're gonna do this again. Hold on. I'm having issues with the packaging this week. <laughs> Here we go. That's what open fine. Alright. Thank. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Starting right across. Stick that in there. Okay. So I'm sort of freaking out this morning, and here's the reason why. <sighs> I'm sorry about the voice, by the way. I think I'm coming down with something. I have a sore throat, kinda. I'm extremely like dry mouthed, and I've been run down for about two or three days now. Um, and it's just kind of progressively getting worse. So I don't know what I'm coming down with, but sorry about the like deep resonant <laughs> voice I got rocking this morning. Anyways, so yesterday I did a pregnancy test with you guys at 11 DPO and I was dead negative. And I showed you guys that, I looked at it, it was dead negative. So here's what I do with these tests. Every day when I take it, I put it on my bedside table. This is yesterday's by the way. Um, I put it on my bedside table. And when I get home from work, I look at it in broad daylight because I don't, it's Canada, it's six o'clock in the morning. There's no broad daylight here at this time of day. Whew. So yesterday I came and took a look at it and I'm going to show you guys this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in camera, but there is a very, oh, maybe you can totally see it a little bit. There is a very, very faint little line on it now that was not there when I did the video with you guys yesterday. Like you couldn't see anything. Um... And I don't know if it's an EVAP line because I left it for a long period of time, but I've never seen an EVAP line come up on the clear blue test. It's one of the reasons I really like them. And I don't know if that's a positive. So I'm kind of freaking out this morning that we might actually be pregnant this month. And I'm kind of freaking out thinking it might be negative. And I've had my hopes up since like five o'clock yesterday when I realized what had happened. Um, but I'm drinking a ton of water because I'm doing that 21 day fixed diet thing. So I'm going through like six bottles of water a day, like 18 cups of water. Um, so in the afternoon, my urine's totally useless. Like I can't, I can't use it for anything. So <laughs> I had to wait till this morning to try and test again. There's no possible way to get it done yesterday. Oh, and I'm panicking. Like I, I don't know how I slept at all last night, but I freaked out. I took a picture of it. I sent it to some girls I'm on an infertility group with. Um, well, I, I like a DTC group, not the infertility group. And uh, I sent it to another friend of mine and I was like, oh, okay, please tell me that you can see this. And this is not in my head. And I'm like, is this an EVAP line or is this a faint positive that just took forever to come up? And I got mixed reviews and everybody's just basically like test tomorrow, which is exactly what my own advice would have been to myself. Oh, so we are testing and it is tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm freaking right out. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost. Um, like all I have is the dry mouth. And then I was thinking about it this morning that last time I was pregnant, like back in, I guess we technically would have been pregnant in October, but November by the time we figured it out and I had some symptoms coming in, is the dry mouth has always been a symptom for me but it's so benign. I'm not nauseous more than like a little once in a while, but I have a history of stomach ulcers and I'm not as compliant with my medications as I should be. So that's also not a surprise. And I'm nervous as crap this morning. So I feel all kinds of nauseous, but that's because I'm like freaking out. I know my boobs are bigger this morning, but I swell out of my bra three, four times a year due to PMS. So also benign, like all of the symptoms are totally benign. But it's been three minutes, so we're gonna check this. Nope, and that's dead negative again this morning. Crap, I was so excited guys, I was so excited. But that is definitely negative, so it must have been an EVAP line or something. Do it again. Wait, what? No. There's nothing there, guys. Which is super sad. <sighs> Damn it. I was so excited about that, too. I saw that line, and I was like, oh, my God, maybe this is actually working. But I don't know. I can't even tell if there's any color in it or not, so it's probably just an EVAP line. And that sucks. That's my first one with clear blue to ever have an EVAP line. 
<sighs> well, that's really disappointing. Okay. Well, I guess it's negative. And a 12 DPO should have come out positive by now, I think. Let me know if you guys had a positive after that, like for the first time, if you tested this late and it's not been positive and if you came up with a positive later, because that'd be really nice to know. And that, I don't know, I'll test again tomorrow, but there's a good chance we're gonna have to go on the next cycle. Okay, talk to you guys later, bye.